Hello everyone, my name is Anna K. Vassa Campbell. My service learning project was based on quality education. I looked at literacy at the Community Children's Center. The center director, the center director is Megan Greeley Gibson. Early childhood education is a crucial component of the Community Children's Center and is the foundation for a strong feeling of the community. They think the connection between staff, family, and students is critical to each student's learning experience. The school is committed to providing a safe and instructional atmosphere that promotes children's development and prepares them for a lifetime of study. This organization recognizes the importance of wealth in education, which is why this, they cater to the needs of the students by providing a holistic approach to their learning. This institution's objectives is fulfilled because they offer a rich learning environment for the students' learning. The center offers literacy night once a month for parent involvement. Unfortunately, only a few parents see the value in coming to these events to help children understand they include that written content is read from left to right and from top to bottom. I observe success by seeing the students going to the reading centers and demonstrating that reading is read from left to right and from top to bottom. The center investigates how children learn about the print system when they are often read to. Students also start to develop a better skills at practicing writing, following instructions, and their parents also add to these by attending these parent night sessions where they can practice reading more, practice writing, color letters, and putting puzzles together. The, skill of, the, the skills of civics engagement that guided me was that I am doing a service that is helping my community to improve. Doing the service showed me how to contribute to my community and help develop my contributions in a more positive way. What I learned from this course that connects to my project is that as an individual, you have to take a stand for what is right. Also, to be a good citizen, you should start from your community. I am excellent at critical thinking and problem solving when working in a group. I have always excelled in cooperation and collaboration because working with colleagues also shows you how to be a productive citizen. The project impacted my group members as some of us This first uh, park is uh, Centennial Park. This is the park where the event took place, the race took place. Uh, it's a nice little park that has always been uh, used for these races. Um, right here is where we started the race. Um, we had this little, we made this little like start line and one of my teammates ended up helping me um, out with this race. And right there we have a uh, coach G on the right and then uh, Miss T is on the left. And uh, that's where we started. That's where the uh, start line was. We headed down that dirt road and uh, made it to the mountains. And then right here, I was explaining to uh, all the, the athletes um, about the FAFSA process, about the application to college, and about um, running itself, and how um, running can like, lead to, to opportunities that um, can be beneficial later in the future. I chose Grace Place as my community partner because 
They were in my community, and after reading their mission, it was evident that I was in the right place. Our sustainable goal was quality education, and after talking with my community partner, unfortunately, they informed me it would not be able to accommodate any project because of the process for access to classroom was more time than we had. Since I heard of their food pantry, I immediately jumped at the chance to serve in that area because food resources from their pantry was meeting the needs for nourishment and health, which are detrimental for strong mental and physical development within the community. Grace Place provides weekly food distribution for the community to relieve some financial burden they may face. My goal was to provide any service I could to help in any way. I was able to help with translations and guiding families in the process of the distribution. My goal was also to get involved in a back to school supplies event Grace Place was hosting. I was able to help transport the backpacks to the gym. And on the day of the event, I also helped guide and help anywhere they needed. Participating in the back to school bash which provided students with backpacks filled with school supplies was emotionally measurable by the smiles and appreciation the families showed because that too helped with financial relief i want to thank grace place for a great organization in which their mission reads grace place puts faith into action providing pathways out of poverty by educating children and families Thank you, Grace Place. My name is Jackson and I volunteer for the Center for the Arts at Bonita Springs. I learned the importance of holistic development for children, aligning with sustainable development goal number four, quality education. Um, Bonita's use for the arts and education underscored the need for a balanced approach that promotes social, emotional, and physical growth alongside academics. While volunteering with others, my goal was simple, to be the best bartender I could at Bonita Center for the Arts during the play about school school gun violence. I thought if we could create a chill, fun uh, vibe for the audience, they'd be more open to talking about this serious topic. I definitely faced some challenges being a bartender and trying to get people to talk about a tough issue wasn't the easiest thing. But as a team, we worked through it and figured out a way to play with these conversations. I think we were successful. The audience seemed to have a good time and they were really open to discussing the play and the issue of gun violence. They appreciated our effort, which made us feel like we did our job. I used two key parts of civic engagement, direct service and advocacy. My job as a bartender at the event was hands-on. For the speaking part, I tried to get people to talk about gun violence, which our play was about. And yeah, this project taught me a lot. But no matter how big or small your role seems, you can make a big difference. Even as bartenders, we helped create an environment where people felt comfortable to talk about difficult issues. It showed me that everyone can contribute to making a change for our community. Thank you. 
I volunteered with the YMCA Reads program at Peace River Elementary. For this project, I wanted to combat the issue of disadvantaged children not having access to quality education. Y Reads works directly with disadvantaged children to improve their reading and literacy skills. This past week was the students' first week back in the program. They listened to a group read aloud story read by the site coordinator. They then completed a vocabulary worksheet involving words from the book. I walked the students through each part of the worksheet. Next, the students read books based on their developmental reading assessment level. This helped us understand where each student can improve when it comes to their reading abilities. Volunteering at YReads allowed me to di directly work with disadvantaged students. This past week to help create a base foundation for their understanding and knowledge to grow as the year progresses. I look forward to continue working with the YMCA Reads program throughout the upcoming semesters.